Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for Oblivion using Mod Organizer. Welcome back to another Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial video. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at texture mods. We're not just going to be installing one texture mod today. Oh no, we are going to be installing a whole bunch of texture mods to make the world look really cool. We need to install them in a specific order to ensure that everything looks properly good. And after it's done, the game is going to look fantastic. We're going to take a lot of the blurry, old, low resolutions from this old game and replace them with nice, high quality, crisp textures that really help you uh, kind of blend into the atmosphere of the world. I mean, if you look at this rock here on the screen, especially the pillar, it doesn't really look that good. But if we were to fade in some newer textures, it at least resembles rocks now. It doesn't look like just a blurry smudge of nothingness. And the same is true for pretty much all the other textures we are going to be adding. So we're going to go ahead and get into the installation. One thing to note though, this is going to come at a performance loss. If you're a lower end computer, you may want to skip ahead past this video because it could cause some problems for you. But don't worry, provided these videos do well, I plan on coming back and doing some performance improving episodes of this series. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, to begin with we're going to install the really textured normal maps for vanilla mod. This is going to be the basis of our retexture and we're going to be installing all of our other texture mods on top of it so that they overwrite this mod. In order to install this mod, you're going to need to head over to the file section of the mods page. From here, you are going to download the main file with manager both part 1 and part 2, and I'd also recommend you download a Shivering Isles file. All three of those can be downloaded with manager. I've gone ahead and pre-downloaded all the files we're going to be needing for today's episode just to save us a little bit of time. To begin with, we're going to start with the really textured normal maps part 1. Double click on it in the download tab, and then what you're going to do is check off all three of these options. Uh, this is just selecting what areas are going to be retextured, so check those off, and then give it a few moments to extract the file, and then we can move on to the next part. Once part 1 is installed, you can go ahead and install part 2 by double clicking on it here, and then once again selecting all of the different options. So it'll take a few moments just for me to check them all off, and then you're just going to go ahead and click OK. After that, it's going to ask you whether like, you'd like to merge or replace. You're going to select Merge. Since we're also using Shivering Isles in this mod tutorial, we're also going to install the Shivering Isles file. We can do this by double-clicking on it and then just checking all of these options off. Again, when it asks you to merge, just click the Merge button. Now that we've installed the basis for our retexture, we're going to be installing a much higher detailed mod, Quarrels Texture Pack, for Nexus Mod Manager. Head over to the file section of this mod and download it with Manager. After you've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to the Quarrels Texture Pack Custom Road Textures and More file, which is again linked in the description. Go to the file section of that and then go ahead and click the Download with Manager button for this one as well. Finally, head over to the unofficial Oblivion Patches file, and from here there is going Going to be an optional file known as the Quarrels Texture Pack Compatibility Patch. Download this one with Manager as well because you're going to need it to keep the compatibility with the unofficial Oblivion patch. Please keep in mind that the Quarrels Texture Pack file is very large and it will take a long time to download, so you may have to give it about 5 or 10 minutes, maybe even longer, depending on your internet. Fortunately, I pre downloaded it, so we can begin by double clicking on this mod in the Downloads tab. Go ahead and just click the manual button here just to make sure that everything is correct and uh, yeah it looks like it is. So then we can go ahead and click OK. This will take a few moments to extract the files. Again, this is a very large file because these are very large textures that cover most of the game. So it's going to take a little while for it to extract. I'm going to cut ahead to when it's done. Once the Quarrels main file has been installed, we're going to go ahead and install the Quarrels custom textures. Double click on this file and it will open up a Bane installer here. For this guide, we're going to go ahead and select all the number 2 files. So once we've done that, go ahead and click the OK button. And now if you'd like, you can change the name of this file, so I'm going to just change it to Quarrels Texture Pack Custom Textures, and then hit OK. So take a few moments to install and then you should be good to go. Finally, we're going to be going ahead and installing the Quarrels Compatibility Patch. This is installed in a very similar way, but you should watch the naming here. I am going to change the name of this file to Quarrels Texture Pack Compatibility Patch, deleting this file right here and clicking OK. And I'm going to be doing this because I don't want it to be merged with the unofficial Oblivion Patch. I want it to be its own file. Now, before we go any further, I need to explain how the prioritization system works in Mod Organizer for those of you who aren't familiar. Now what do I mean by this? Well, with a lot of our files, they have ESPs and ESMs, and that kind of 
organizes the order that the files are loaded in, but for texture mods, it doesn't have anything like that. But because of the way Mod Organizer works, it injects the files in a specific order. So if we want, for example, Quarles to overwrite really textured normal maps, it needs to be in a specific position on this main pane over here. Now, which order does it need to be in? Does it need to be in numerical order? Does it need to be in reverse numerical order? Well, I can explain this and show you how to check it for yourself. Uh, to examine this statistic, we're going to go ahead and click on a file. Uh, I'm going to take Quarles Texture Pack for Nexus Mod Manager and select it. As you can see, the moment I click on it, there are some green and some red colorations that appear on my screen. Now, what do these mean? The red color shows you what mod is overwriting the mod that you have selected. And green is things that the mod you have selected is going to go on top of. So, for example, the unofficial Oblivion patch will be at the bottom. Then, Quarrel's texture pack will go on top of that, overwriting some of those files. Finally, we're going to take the Quarrel's Texture Pack custom textures and put those on top of Quarrel's Texture Pack, at least in the case of the order we have here. How do I know this? Well, there's a quick and easy way to check which files are conflicting. To do this, just double click on the file and you'll open up its information panel. From here, go to the Conflicts tab and you can see exactly what's happening. As you can see, Quarrel's is overwriting certain wood textures, other textures like that but it's also being overwritten when it comes to the rocks and the landscapes and the other things like that because that's what we have the custom textures file for. So the best way to do this is if you see a guide that tells you to install this file and then this file and then this file is to put them in your mod organizer in that order. That's the best way to do it. Now, I'm also just gonna mention right now that the way I have it right now on screen may not be the ideal way. I haven't actually checked my priority or done a lot of testing when I recorded this section, but I figured the explanation is what's more important so that you can figure these things out for yourself. All right, now that we've gotten that weird little explanation out of the way, we can go on to our next mod, which is the Graphic Improvement Project. To install this mod, we're just gonna go ahead to the file section of this mod and just download the only file that's available with Manager. Go over to this file, double click on it, and install it manually. Again, this will take a few moments to extract, and then we can move on to, once again, our next file. The next mod that you're going to install is Detailed Terrain for Oblivion. This mod features an OMOD installation, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to install, so please bear with me. Head over to the file section of the mods page, and then go down and download the main file manually. Download with Manager is not going to work because this is an OMOD file structure. After that, download both of the optional files, Shivering Isles and Unique's Landscapes, manually, keeping in mind that you're going to need to have followed my entire tutorial series, which includes how to install Unique Landscapes for the Unique Landscape plugin to work, obviously. There's also an update to this mod, however, it's only needed for people who are experiencing problems with flickering textures and other things like that. You can download it manually and install it in the same method, although I'm not going to be covering it in this video. If you're having problems, please check the description of this video because I may have made an update video. You can always leave a comment and I will be willing to help. Again, if you're also having trouble, you can read through the mod's description page because it contains a lot of useful information. Once the main files have been downloaded manually, extract the OMODs and drag them to your desktop. As you can see on my screen, I have the three OMODs that you need right here. So open up your Oblivion Mod Manager in your Mod Organizer by selecting it from the drop-down menu and hitting Run. If you don't have the option available for Oblivion Mod Manager, then please watch the entire tutorial series because I do cover that at some point. Minimize this, and then double-click on the Detailed Terrain Beta file. Double-click on the OMOD file so that they appear in the main pane of your Oblivion Mod Manager. Now, don't activate them here because that will cause some problems. Trust me, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is right click on the first file, scroll down, and then extract it to a folder. And we're just going to send this to our desktop. It's going to ask if you'd like to create OMOD conversion information. Go ahead and click no. After you've gone ahead and done that, what we're going to need to do is move on to the next file, which is the DT Texture Pack Shivering Isles. In order to install this, we're going to have to follow the same process, and then once again for unique landscapes. So I'm going to go over it one more time, and then I'm sure you can do unique landscapes on your own. So just right click on it and click extract a folder, select your desktop, click no, and then allow it to decompress. One 
once you've extracted all three into folders, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and delete these from your Oblivion Mod Manager. So just right click, delete. All right, next up, create a new folder and we're just going to call it um, DT or Detailed Terrain. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Then open up the Detailed Terrain Beta 2 folder. This is your mod. What you're going to do is select both the shaders and the textures, drag them over. After that, close out of this folder because you don't need it anymore and open up the Shivering Isles file. From here, what you're going to want to do is drag the textures over into the textures folder making sure you don't put it inside but that you merge the two folders and then you're going to do the same thing for the last textures file so you're just going to drag this move it to dt it'll combine them all everything should be fine now you can close out of all of these then right click on your dt file and select 7-zip or winrar and just add this file to an archive Go ahead and click OK. It'll take a few moments and then we can continue on by adding this to our mod organizer. Once the file has been added to a 7-zip file or an RAR archive or whatever you're going to have it in, we're going to need to install it in mod organizer. In order to do this, launch your mod organizer, click on this button right here with the screwdriver and the wrench and click the install mod button. Then find the file you just created, in my case dt.7-zip, and click the open button. From here, it's going to ask us uh, how we would like to install it. First thing I'm going to do is give it a better name, like Detailed Terrain. Then I'm going to click the manual button. As you can see here, the data directory is not set correctly, so we're going to select the DT file and set that as the data directory. Do whatever you need to do in your file structure to make sure that it looks like this. And after that, click the OK button. It'll take a few moments to begin installing all of these different texture files and other things like that, and then we can continue on. Okay, now that we have all of those different mods installed, we should be good to go. Keep in mind, you're still going to need to sort your load order using a tool like Boss, and you're also going to need to organize your priority to effectively give you the correct textures. If you're having problems with your textures, I would recommend adjusting things. I'm not going to be showing you the exact perfect way to prioritize things. At least in this video, I might come back, revisit this, and give you guys like a master load order at the end of this series, but I haven't quite decided on that yet. That's something that you should really look into on your own by looking at other guides. One good guide I would recommend is the wiki step project by the user Hishtup, which I have been using a little bit to kind of get an idea of what mods to install in this tutorial. So thank you very much for watching, please leave a thumbs up on the video if you would like to see more Oblivion tutorial videos because, you know, the whole motivation to keep going thing. Uh, I am a robot that is fueled by likes and your likes and comments give me energy to create new videos. That is a really lame way to say that. I've been Zul and I hope that you have an excellent day.